earlier today. Uh, they had a moment of silence here for uh, Vida Blue and, and died at uh, 73. A uh, dear member of the Ace family, uh, one of the great ambassadors for the game. And up against them today, lefty Ryan Yarborough. This is his third start with the Royals. It's really his fourth outing of bulk. Shallow fly. Not an easy play, but MJ Melendez is there. And two up, two down here in the top of the first. Nice. And Yarborough got him. How about a one, two, three, top of the first inning? And now the Royals coming up. On to the bottom of the first inning, and the hard throwing Mason Miller going to work against Bobby Wood Jr. Bobby Wood Jr. lifts one to left center, and that will be taken care of by Ruiz, and there is one away. Perez, like both Witt and Pasquantino, have a half a dozen home runs. And Perez rocks it. Deep left center. Way gone. Whoa. The Royals are on the board with a rocket. Seventh home run of the season for Salvador Perez. Belted to deep left field. Back goes Rooker and gone. Perez. Boy, he timed a fastball at 99 and let it fly. Brings up Carlos Perez, the catcher. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh man. Well, look out, Eric Martins. Still got clipped. He had plenty of time to get out of the way. A little bit slow footed today, but it's all right. Safe to say that Carlos Perez's timing might be a little off at home plate. Too scoreless for Ryan Yarborough so far. Let him get themselves out. So there's a couple of balls there, softly induced ground balls. Which is exactly what he wants. And there's another one. This time it's Massey. Not an easy play, and Prado stretches. Good play as momentum was taking him toward third as he was charging in from second and throwing off of one foot and on the move, he threw a strike. Ruiz with a bunt. Here comes Garcia. Bare hand play, and he got him. And here comes Garcia. Bare hands throws, and he got him. That takes extreme skills there. What a play. Garcia says, not on my watch. Here's Brett Rooker leading the league in OPS, and he gets plunked. A one out hit batsman. It's a two down. That will bring up Ramon Laureano. Rooker's going. The throw by Salvi a bit high and a stolen base for Brent Rooker. The A's 38th of the year. Easy theft for Brent Rooker. And his first as an A. Up the middle and a diving play by Massey. It squirts on the grass around thirds. Rooker the throw by Witt. It skips away from Salvi and in safely is Rooker. And it's a tie game at one. You got a chance it with two outs. You got to make something happen. And Brett Rooker came around third base. Emart sent him home and the A's have tied the game at one. Salvador Perez will lead off the fourth inning. Hit a 462 foot home run to left his first time up. And now another hot shot. This one down in the right field. And Salvi's two for two. And it's a chance for the Royals to take it right back. And now Salvi gets a free base. And the Royals Perez will move up to second base on a wild pitch. Where's line drive? Blow! Oh, what a catch! Ah. Mac Allen fully lays out to his right. Something about the A's in Kansas City brings out the best in the middle infield. And Nick Allen does not disappoint. What a catch, two away. It's up to Michael Garcia to try and bring the run in. Garcia pokes it down into left center. Salvi's coming home. And the Royals have the lead right back. And guess who came through again? Salvi's leadoff single. Garcia's two out RBI single. And the Royals lead 2 1. And Ruiz, with that great speed, is on to begin the sixth inning. He's the last guy you want on, though. He can steal bases. Leads Major League Baseball. There goes Ruiz. Good throw. Got him. Right on the money, honey. You can't throw a ball any better than that. Good tag there. Of course, that was an easy catch and tag. But man, oh man, he's putting on a clinic. Oh, right no. back to Yarborough. Oh, no. Lines it off of Yarborough, who goes down. The ball ricochets all the way back to Salvador Perez. Appears to have gotten Ryan Yarborough perhaps on the forehead and he is down on his knees right now he is alert thankfully Ryan is standing up right now great to see him up and walking off under his own power Indeed. Nick Prado starting the bottom of the sixth inning it's Mason Miller and 83 pitches now for Miller who sets up inside in the pitch that's a slider chin on one hop to know it will take the bag himself and there is one away the one two pitch 
That's a line drive to right field. Coming up for Loriano to make the catch, and there are two away. Retired the last four he's faced. And there he got him upstairs at 98. High octane from Miller, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for the A's right-hander. Mason Miller, six strong innings. Another inning for Fujinami on the mound. Salvador Perez has scored both of the Royals' runs. Laced up the middle. Three-hit game for Salvador Perez. There's a good start as the Royals attempt to get an insurance run or two. So the leadoff man is on. Here's MJ Melendez. On the ground and through. Back-to-back -back singles. And the Royals are bidding for some insurance in the eighth. So Nick Prado will be the hitter. Nick is hitless. He's 0 for 3. Prado toward the gap. Bases. Perez scores easily. And now here comes Melendez. Two run double. There's your insurance. So the two to one game with three consecutive hits becomes a four to one contest. Nota picks it. And there's the first out, but that moves Prado to third. That's called a productive out and almost a base hit if he, he'd have hit a little bit more to the left. I think it's going to be all for the right hander. I think we're going to see Sam Long and Michael Massey coming up. Should be deep enough to get Prado home. Loriano's got a good arm, but it's well off target. Sacrifice fly, Michael Massey. And it's 5-1. to one. Nicely done. you got to give half of that run to Michael Garcia for moving the runner, Prado. There's Scott Barlow trying to get the final three outs for the Royals today. The batter is Loriano. Barlow's a strike away. There goes the runner on 3-2 and a swing and a miss. And that ends the game. But they'll take a W before Oakland leaves town in a nice way to get some momentum going for the White Sox when they come to town in their own division and start playing some consistent baseball.